two, two rooms. This one and that one. And uh, we've been excavating it since 1997 uh, for, for about one month each year. And um, grad we've been very gradually taking out the film, the, the film which the uh, debris that filled all of these rooms in that time. Yavaş yavaş burayı doldurmuş olan e, döküntü, döküntü, döküntü, döküntü, döküntü, döküntü, döküntü, binanın kuzey tarafı ve güney tarafı arasında oldukça farklılıklar gözüküyor. Um, it's hard for them to imagine probably what it was like when we first started. Hmm. But um, in this half was we found a huge um, amount of roof, fallen in roof, hmm. up to about here. İlk başladığımızda bu evi kazmaya bu tarafta e, yıkılmış bir e, çatı vardı. And in this half, after the building was abandoned, this half was filled with garbage. But this might be very special garbage because on the bottom there were really huge bones, shoulder bones and pieces of head of cows and um, deer and other animals. That, that was the bottom of the garbage and then on top of that was black midden filled with seeds and other nice things to eat. So that was the end of the use life of the building and gradually as we go down we got into the different phases of living in it. Under this um, roof, under the fallen roof, where we found big, by the way, big um, horns with a skull and everything, which may have been on the roof. Un under the roof, it was all pretty clean. The roof fell straight on the house, probably. Um, during its use, the, the floors were always pretty clean. And under this side, it was uh, perhaps because it was exposed, it was always very kind of fun. You can see the floor is not. Hmm. It's not clear, it's not nice and white like it is here. But that's not just because of the different way they were abandoned. They really look as though they've been treated differently. It's too hot. Like you can see this white bench here running across the house like that seems to divide like a clean area with white platforms here from this area which is much sootier, much much blacker. I'm, not, I'm trying not to use the term dirty. <laughs> And this, this is um, quite a common division in the Chattahulu houses. Hmm. At one end you have uh, the area where there's an oven here, for example. Probably the remains of floor on an oven <coughs> here. And it's the superstructure of the oven 
is seen by these little holes here, which is some kind of basket covered with clay. Is it always north-south, that division in the other I think so, yes. I have to check the end. Norway, Norway. The act of... Bir yaklaşık olarak evlerinde de aslında çok e, gördüğümüz bir e, eğilim bu. Yani bu tarafı genellikle zeyrine oluyor. E, evin bu tarafında e, ocağın olduğu yer, orada gördüğümüz zaten ocağın altı, ocağın olduğu yer yine öyle bir ayrım var. Yani bu tarafı daha başka faaliyetler için kullanılıyor belki bir yol ki bu tarafı da e, daha farklı faaliyet. Her zaman Kuzey ve Güney olarak mı? E, ben onu sordum. E, çoğunlukla. Çoğunlukla. Also at this end, we have possible the possible fixtures uh, here and then here for the um, ladder, hmm. Hmm. Hmm. which went up through the roof, and that was the access. It's been hypothesized that the the ladder was the access into the into the building, although it's not never actually been proved. But it's, it's been assumed that it's, a, it's an intact. A ladder has never been found. A ladder has never been found, nor is a hole in the roof, since the roof is very rarely found. We found the wrong end of it. Feature 631, and they cleaned out the bottom and the sides of the of the uh, burial pit here, and see some yellow clay could be part of the underlying wall um, coming up in the middle of the midden. You um, can also see the nice stratigraphy. Michael took a quick time VR of inside the pit with the profiles. We hope it comes out. And, uh, and then we'll continue down. Uh, continue following the cut, because yeah. we don't have that eastern edge of the cut. And continue emptying and see whether we find some more bones. She's been finding still single bones, nothing Scaffered, in yeah. situ. But they seem all to belong to the same, similar kind of skeleton, maybe one mm, skeleton. Little one. We have yet another evidence of this wall, those bricks, being part of the late wall because we can see it nicely here how they're sitting. These bricks are sitting on top of this feature yeah. that went all, all the way to there. They're sitting and pressing that feature as well as this part of the wall. So even though it looked all as part of the original wall and we had a nice corner here, this bit was a late wall. This is the northern end of Space 158. Yeah, it's future 622. So we might have, we're at the southern end of Space 158. We might have to repeat this tomorrow morning because we right. can't see very much. So under the floor and packing, the latest floor, what we thought was the latest, we came across the oven floor 
and the oven floor is underneath uh, the niche, which is 607, and goes underneath all these remains of the shoring wall. So it's an earlier phase of the building. So that's the rest of the oven over there in the sunshine, right? Right. It goes like this, yeah. like that, and under there, mm. and then all the way to the top and under the shoring wall. I've removed some remains of last year's floor layers that we didn't see properly, completely removed. So we're cleaning down to all the top of, or the bottom of uh, the floor layers 5 to 10 group. And the phase C, potentially. Right. Phase C. And then we started taking down the east west bolt first. Um, from the east wall, leaving a little section where the platform 170 joins the floor, and then again, I think we're going to leave another section in the middle here. But we found a fire installation in the middle of it. Fire installation in this section we are leaving for the micromorphology, but also as a control. So that fire installation is coming down as a separate unit, I think, is that right? Yeah. What so we've to done. Be drawn. We have to see which level it belongs to and, and compare it with last year ones that right. we have taken out already. What we've done with these bulks is to take them out and, um, if possible, join them with their previous units but as a separate flotation sample. Okay, Here we are in the uh, southeast corner of um, Space 186. And it's platform mm. 167. And, and we. It's also yeah. a different feature. Doesn't this, fe doesn't this lower part have a separate feature yes. number now? And I don't know what it is. Yeah, I've got it written down somewhere. Okay. So we are here on the floor. This is the same floor as that. And that's an uh, earlier floor. However, on top we had this other floor. And on top of that we had another floor that was part right. of the same floor level. And there was a big cut. And there's yet another cut in here that looks as a possible potential a post or something in connection with the ladder. With the ladder, and yep. In the hub. And what was that you were pointing to there, that that crack? This or one? No, uh, this that, one? yeah. This one? Mm. This, and this is part of the same okay, floor. Okay, I see. The same floor, right. so there is just, this is like a little basin oh, yeah. in the floor, this half the feature. Part of the kitchen. Right, this is more like the edge of the platform. Actually, we can see now that the, edge of the original edge of the platform was going from here, connecting to here somewhere. Uh -huh. That was the original edge that was cut by right. the poster driven pit. Okay. Strange. 